In this video, I'd like to introduce you to one of the most unique train rides I've ever taken and to the small town of San Cipriano, which is located not too far from Cali in Western Colombia. You won't want to miss this, so stick around. Not too long ago on my recent trip to Colombia, my local guide, Uberne, recommended that we go to a town called San Cipriano, where they have the most amazing train ride, one that I would not believe. It's called La Brujita, or The Little Witch. Let's check it out. Not one car in this parking lot to go to La Brujita, San Cipriano. Usually on the weekend, this could be full. Introduce yourself. Hi guys, my name is Uberne. What can I say? Here in San Cipriano, we are going to have a lot of fun. We're gonna cross a hanging bridge over a nice river. The people over here is very nice. It's Afro-Colombian people. They have lived here for many years and, and they take care of the place. All right, let's do it. Let's do it, let's go. So we just got to San Cipriano. We're about to cross the hanging bridge. Gonna pay for tickets, and we're going right in here to the ticket booth. So it looks very solid. It's a little shaky, but what? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's moving a little bit. Fast moving river. So the water's mostly from the rain. But a really cool bridge. Then we're gonna go to the Bujitas, which are a really interesting form of transportation. Wait till you see this. So look how they've fashioned this motorcycle. The front wheel is on the cart. It's got, oh, wheel, yeah. it's got wheels for the tracks, but then the back wheel is what's making it hey, advance, of course. Hey, is that interesting or what? in Colombia heading to San Cipriano and this reminds me a lot of the bamboo train in Cambodia and what's interesting is there's one track so imagine if another brujita is coming the other way we have to stop and the one with the least amount of load has to disassemble the other car gets pushed by and then they reassemble the other one and go their separate ways. So in that sense, it's very similar to the bamboo train. So interesting. And this is absolutely stunning scenery. It's very well maintained. And we, we just have the perfect day. Uh, it could be a little bit, you know, a lot harder if it was raining or cold, but today is absolutely perfect. Perfect. So we're just about to enter the Reserva Forestal, which appears to have been established in 1979 here in San Cipriano. So I'm told the prices have gone up a fair amount with the pandemic, but still very reasonably priced by most standards. Uh, it costs us 5,000 each just to enter this reserve. So that's about a dollar. 30 cents or so, US. And there's a gate. There's a little ticket booth. We were walking through and the woman said, 
Hey, hey, hey. Gotta pay. <laughs> Look at this beautiful river. It's very slow, slow moving. And so a lot of people will swim here. They do inner tubing, probably some kayaking. Regla para nadar con flotadores, llevar el kit. So it looks like you could probably rent an inner tube. This is their stadium here? Yes, this is the stadium. Pretty much every town in Latin America will have their own soccer field. And yeah. apparently this is the official one of San Cipriano. So inner tubing here is really popular and I can see why, because it's just a lazy river. Yeah, you just float down, it looks beautiful. <laughs> So we're here and walking by this, these ladies sitting here and she was waiting for a tall man to come by and ask him to change a light bulb. <laughs> That's awesome. Look how clean and organized this kitchen is. This is where we're going to have lunch. Sorry for the interruption, but when this video is done, be sure to check out my best travel tips playlist. There's a link in the description below. All right, let's get back to it. So we pretty much left the town of, it's a small village, not even town really, but we left the village of San Cipriano and we're walking on this rocky sort of dirt road. And we're off to uh, check out a waterfall, right? Yeah, La Cascada del Amor. Ah, Las Cascadas del Amor. The waterfall of love. <laughs> Vamos a La Cascada Refugio del Amor. Y al sendero del refugio es de Saint. Interesting. Oh, wow, really? Oh. Okay. Fish here. This is not the cascada de Amor. Esta es la cascada de los A lot of people will come to swim, and it definitely wasn't two and a half kilometers to get here. Okay. This is La Cascada del Amor. And you know, people die from, from up over the road, they die. Oh, that's how deep it is. Deep. Wow, so very small, maybe meter and a half waterfall, but it's very deep there that you could actually dive. Ready. Waterfall is just a few hundred meters past Cascada de Amor. Quite a bit bigger. Is it platano? Yes, it's platano. What is it? Un sancocho. Patacones. Patacones. So this is coconuts. So the one with the lesser load has to take their car off. And the one with the bigger load gets to go. And they'll put it back on back there. ¿Cuánto tiempo tienes uh, manejando esto? Hey. Ocho 
años. Ocho años. Wow. So now we're going to cross this hanging bridge again. Gets us over to that white walkway and then we'll get to the parked car. Question of the day. Have you been to Colombia? Have you ever ridden anything like La Brujita? Let us know in the comments below. Well, I sure hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. If you'd like to join me on my next Flavors of Columbia adventure, then look for a link in the description below. I'd love to have you along. Next, head on over to the ContinentalDrifter.co website for more travel and photography tips and to get my latest download. Also, be sure to share the channel with other great travelers just like you. And don't forget, if you're in need of a great gift that helps support the channel, you can look for any of my pandemic, travel, photography, or Continental Drifter designs at my online stores. You can also head to Amazon.com to pick up either of my physical books over there. And remember, drifters, life's too short not to travel.